Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kaden, and today I have another planner video for you. Today I'm going to be showing you how I store and organize all of my stickers that I use in my planners. Okay, so first I want to start with the stickers that I use the most often, and that is the stickers in these two albums. These albums are from Once More With Love, and they come just as blank sticker paper. Um, I use both the front and the back, but it's reusable sticker paper, so it's like the backing, but it doesn't have stickers in it, so you can put the stickers in these books. So first I have this book that is just full of box stickers, all different sizes, and I use these primarily in my planner to show events or plans or tasks. Everything goes on one of these stickers, essentially. Now, I just slipped this old uh, piece of packaging from Erin Condren in this front pocket. And then, as you flip through, you can see I start with red and I go all the way through the rainbow with Roy G. Biv. And I still have a few sheets that are left at the back of my book. Now, every single week I use a kit in my planner. Um, I've talked about this in the plan with me video that I posted. And that is kind of what I use as the outline to make sure everything matches. And if there's a certain color or size sticker that I need that is not in that kit, then I turn to this book. And also, if I have stickers left over, like these stickers, at the end of the week, then I put them in the book. So see, they will just stick down here and then it's ready to go. And it still has it sticky on the back. So this is primarily a functional sticker book. This sticker book is also functional, but it's also decorative. All of these stickers in this book are from the Coffee Monsters Co. They're all little, she calls them emojis, but they're these little people who do things. So I have school ones, laptops. And then this page is just kind of random ones that don't go with any particular other kind of stickers. Usually these come on samplers, like I don't have other beach stickers, so this is a beach sticker. And then I have a couple blank pages in case I get more in the future, which she always has new releases, so I'm sure I will, but I'm really trying to use what I have. This has helped me to use what I have instead of going through multiple sheets, because sometimes there might be um, a sticker on a sheet that I would need, but the rest of the stickers don't really match the theme that I'm needing. So I wouldn't necessarily think to look at that sheet, but now they're all paired group-like. And I just went through and sorted out my sheets of stickers, these solid come on sheets, and I sorted them into piles of categories, and then I just started placing them. And then at the back, I have seasonal stickers. So I have winter, Christmas. I have quite a few Christmas ones. I love Christmas. I'm pretty extra year round, but especially during Christmas. These are all fall themed ones. Then these are Easter. Um, I had just picked up a sheet of Easter stickers and they actually came after Easter because I did not order them in time. So I just put the whole sheet on this page and I'll have them for next year. And then I have room to add more holidays. Um, I don't have any patriotic 4th of July ones, but I'm sure she'll come out with some of those. So if I were to get some 4th of July stickers, I could put them on this page or Valentine's stickers, whatever the holiday may be. So if I were to plan on the go, what I would take with me is a kit for the week, this sticker book, and this sticker book. And then I might would take a couple tools such as whiteout an adhesive roller, pens, that kind of thing. Now, these are all of the other stickers that I own. And at one point I had quite a bit more than this, 
but I really went through and decided what kind of stickers do I use. And while I primarily use the stickers in those other two books, I do turn to these stickers as well, depending on the occasion. So I'm just going to show you how I have these categorized. These are all in Erin Condren pouches. They're kind of pricey on the site, so I bought these from somebody else secondhand. They had several of them and they were reselling them. Okay, this pouch I do turn to quite a bit. And now these stickers, I mean, it's kind of messy in here because there's quite a few. But these are all just functional stickers, checklists, hour marks. These are to redate a monthly to Monday through Sunday. It's mostly checklists. These are some Erin Condren date dots. More checklists. These are little dinner icons, weekend banners. I turn to this whenever I need something functional that is not in my kit, but usually this stuff comes from the kit. So I don't turn to this every single time I plan, but I do turn pretty often. Okay, next I have, these are all Erin Condren stickers. They are from the Erin Condren monthly sticker books. And I just have the sheets in order of January through December for the theme. So I'm just gonna flip through and show this to you. I will use these in the monthly layout or if there is a seasonal one like this Mary everything is a Christmas sticker then I'll use that on the weekly layout but as I was flipping through I was just thinking how great these would be to use in my daily petite planner like I could just keep the sheets for that month in my planner for example right now we're in May so I could put these May stickers in that really kind of matches the June colors now, but this could go nice. May is peach in Erin Condren currently. She's changed it up over the last couple years, but I could put this just in the back of my petite daily and use these. I love to put washi strips in my petite daily, so I'm gonna set those aside. And next, these are most used icons, and I just have these labels at the top. They're all pretty random, but they're things that I would still use stickers for. Um, not necessarily today, but I want to keep that I might use in the future. Purses, TVs. If you say book hotel, obviously I'm not traveling anywhere right now, but this could be helpful in the future. A lot of the sheets are cut up. Um, because I used to store them in a way that needed to be smaller. Okay, a friend sent me these a few years ago of my dogs. This is Pandora and then this is Pinky Pearl. Pearl uh, is no longer with us, but I have like a ton of these sheets and I used to use them a lot. I really need to use them more often because it's perfect. functional script I'm not going to flip through everything but they say things like yoga to go power hour to clean payday it's just things that I would do regularly but it's wrote out on a sticker so I don't have to hand write it these are all medical stickers chemo x-rays clinic that's a whole stack of clinic stickers chemo MRI, MRI, lots of MRIs, and I've gone through several of these. Thermometers, stethoscopes. These I use when I have tests done on my heart, pill bottles, lab work. I've gone through several of those sheets. Appointments, more scan stickers. So these are all really handy especially if you do these things often like me. Literally, these are just 
fun stickers. So they say things like, hello, new day. You go, girl. It's Friday. Not today. You are my sunshine. These really just add decoration to my planner, but they can be a mood or a thing I'm doing. They say family time. And then back here, these are all Erin Condren quote box stickers. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thanks.